Hello listeners, welcome back to my channel. Last time I spoke about going to different parts of the city for inter-school competitions. Other than going to different parts of the city for various competitions, we had two picnics every academic year. With my parents, I had become familiar with places such as our Punjab village, Dapchari, Vikroli station, Ghatkopar and Godrej hillside colony. So it was a new experience when we went to far from places such as South Bombay. I'm talking about when I was in primary school, like really small. The very first class picnic that we had was with Chubby teacher as the class teacher. She had brought her son along for the outing. To little me, he looked very big. He was probably in the 8th or 9th standard at the time. If I remember correctly, we went to the hanging gardens. We had a lot of fun running into the old lady's shoe, popping out into the balcony and waving to our classmates below. One reason picnics were a lot of fun was that we were allowed to carry all kinds of snacks and have them in the bus sharing and exchanging with classmates. This was a refreshing change from the routine. Also lunch was sandwiches instead of the usual sabji roti during the picnic. Cold sabji roti is no fun to eat. Once the picnic was done, we piled into the bus for the long drive home. The bus started dropping children home along the way. Now remember this was my very first picnic at the school. So first the station side children were dropped, then the creek side children, then the kendra side children. These are all the names of the different colonies within the Godrej complex. The people left the bus, left in the bus were Chabi teacher, her son and I sitting somewhat away from them. When I saw that the ch all the children except me had gotten off, I started crying silently. I thought the driver wasn't going to drop me home. Chubby teacher's son noticed I was crying and informed his mother. They both had been sitting towards the front of the bus and I was a little behind. So they came back to ask me what the matter was. When I told them I was crying because everyone except me had been dropped off, they consoled me and told me that I would definitely be dropped home. Like the bus driver hadn't forgotten about me or he hadn't forgotten about hillside. <laughs> it just so happened that Chabi teacher lived in Ghatkopar. So it was convenient for the driver to drop off the kids in that particular order with my stop being the second last one. Then Chabi teacher's house was further along the same road. Once I was convinced that the driver hadn't just forgotten about me, I stopped crying. The driver, Khambata, was our picnic bus driver for all the years to come. When we were in high school, he drove us to our competitions that were conducted in different parts of the city. I was secure in the knowledge that Khambata would not forget to drop me home ever. Another thrilling picnic was when we went to see the movie Jungle Book in 3rd standard. I think we went to Regal or Excelsior Cinema in South Bombay. So we all tumbled out excitedly from the bus with two hassle teachers. I don't know if tickets had been booked in advance or we were, we all had to buy it at that. But we poured into one of the many theatre rooms. That was my first time in a movie theatre. Remember in Dapchari movies were aired in open air theatre. I was enthralled by everything, the plush interiors, the wall-to-wall -wall carpeting, the popcorn and cola stalls. The hassle teacher called out the range of seat numbers and we scuttled around and then settled down quickly. Turns out we were in the wrong room, there was a different movie showing there. So then all of us poured out of that room and went into another one. At that time, I didn't even know that there were multiple rooms in the theatre. I was just like following my classmates wherever they were going. So this time we went into the correct room and we settled down. 
I don't think I had ever sat in an air conditioned room before this. Having never been inside a movie theater, I did not even know that they switched off all the lights for the movie viewing. I was just overawed by everything. It all seemed so otherworldly and magical. The cool room, the seating arrangement, the darkness that enhanced the movie viewing experience. At home, I couldn't stop talking about the Mog- about Mowgli, the jungle boy. The visit to the planetarium was another magical experience for me. For some time, thinking that we were actually looking at the sky and somehow the planetarium people had turned day into night and were showing us the night sky through the open ceiling <laughs> on the lines of an amphitheater or stadium. After a little thinking and remembering what the planetarium looked like from the outside, I realized the dome ceiling was what housed the lights that were presented as the star constellations. Stepping out from the show and weighing ourselves on different planets was exciting. Again, for a few moments, I wondered how they knew what my weight would be on the moon or on Mars. But by now, I was a little wiser. Just marginally wiser than the kid who thought Lord Krishna had visited our school. (laughs) So I would put a little thought into figuring out things that seemed magical now. Yet, my wisdom did not evolve to numbers and math, which became painfully obvious during our Lunavla picnic. I can't remember if it was Lunavla or Khandala. But we reached the picnic spot and the teacher asked us to submit money for buying chickies. So that was the first order of the day after reaching Lunavla. That first the teachers would buy chickies for all of us and then we would carry on with the picnic. The teacher was Lenny teacher. The same one who had touched up my parrot lipstick for the school drama in first standard. And the one who had taken us to the Mowgli Jungle Book movie. We all informed teacher how many chickies we wanted one by one and gave her the money. We had formed a queue to do that in the bus itself. So it was rupees 5 for 1 chikki and rupees 10 for 2 chikkis. Once the teachers would buy all the chikkis and distribute them to us, we could then go ahead to the picnic spot and step out of the bus. But there was an error in calculations and the teachers were 5 rupees short compared to the number of orders. So then this delayed the entire picnic because the teachers had to recheck with each student how many chickies they wanted. After the check, they still failed to catch the error. So the teacher did a second check, this time asking us not just how many chickies we wanted, but also how much money we had given her. Of course, the error was on account of me. I had given Lenny teacher 5 rupees but asked for 2 chickies. Lenny teacher kindly explained to me that I could get only one chikki for 5 rupees. I got very embarrassed when I realized that the entire goof up had been because of me. The teacher had been kind, but the feeling lingered in the background. I started creating an identity of myself as a person who tended to mess up things. But more about that later in another episode. So that's all for today, folks. Take care of yourselves, stay healthy, stay well, and I will see you in another episode. Bye for now.